Hey, YouTube. Merry Mayhem here. Well, as luck would have it, we got us a flat tire. And I thought, well, it's going to be a good opportunity. We're going to do a video on uh, plugging a tire. And I'll show it to you. Oh, I did want to tell you, hopefully some of you have noticed that we are now filming all the videos in 4K. So, provided you have the uh, appropriate equipment to uh, view it in 4K. But, honest to goodness, 4K, I can tell a difference um, that the images are sharper. And so I have to be even more... Um, careful uh, not to shake the camera so much uh, because it, it seems like it's even more obvious so we're going to be doing a lot more uh, uh, tripod and stuff like that so I'm going to show you this bam there we go I squirted some fix a flat in there um, partly because I had a little bit of a can left and because it really helps you see sometimes fix a flat works um, and I know a lot of people are going to hate it when I say this. I got no problem with the slime stuff squirting that in your tire. I don't care if it rusted out. It's a lawnmower rim. And uh, I've got 50 more in my shop. And uh, odds are they don't make them like they used to anymore. So this thing's not going to be around in 8 or 10 years. Uh, I imagine the motor will blow in 2 or 3. But there we go. That is the offending piece. We are going to use a plug. And I'll show you my plug kit. More to come. Okay, guys, now we're back, and I wanted to show you. This is kind of a tire patch kit that I have accumulated over the past few years working with the mowers when I was when I was uh, doing service work on them, and when I was playing with them and just regular stuff to have. Of course, this also works on the cars, uh, the truck, and uh, I can even do some of the inflatable kids' toys, some of the patches uh, I've got. Uh, we'll work with that as well, although they're not in this pack. Um, but basically, what you want to have are your drivers and uh, what you would have to uh, force the plug in. A bunch of different sizes and types of plugs. These are the plugs, uh, which are rubber strips with uh, ooky gooey junk on them. That's a scientific term, actually. Again, the drivers sometimes you might need to make the hole larger which is probably gonna have to do on this one then something to force it in these things work so much better to me than the screwdriver the t-handles are just easier to use and you can buy these separately or in kits and uh, these things work great um, a good rubber mallet extra valves valve stem remover uh, this, I can't remember where I bought this guy, but I, I, I want to buy two or three more just to have uh, because this thing is fantastic. This saves me a lot of time. Extra tubeless valves completely. Patches. Uh, an air gauge. And I like to throw a can of this stuff in there too because it, it'll inflate it enough to where you can uh, see where the leak is and then pound a uh, plug in and last but not least rubber cement this is damn near the same stuff that you use when you were a kid and putting the model glue uh, you putting the models together with model glue asphalt cement uh, rubber cement that's what it is so we're gonna get started more come let's see if you can see the hole is right there. You see the hole? It, there was a piece of metal, a piece of wire, stiff wire that had gone through it. But the hole is right there. So what we're going to do, I'm going to have to enlarge that one a little bit. Uh, I have used a small, small drill bit before to uh, uh, ream it out. But we're going to try it this way. More to come. There we go. I've got this started. I'm just going to work it in. There we go. A lot of times when the hole's big enough, you don't have to fight with it so much. But now I've got that. Before I take this out though, if I was stuck on the side of the road, I would only have so much air in the tire. So that hole is effectively plugged, but you can't drive with it. 
So what we're going to do is take a plug and get it ready to drive in. Now, it's hard to see the camera because I got a lot of glare on this windshield or on the viewing screen. So, I'm going to take this guy. And why did I use this one? I could tell you something scientific that it was uh, going to be the correct size, but it's honestly the only one that was outstanding by itself uh, and it was making a mess inside my kit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put glue, the adhesive, all over it. Come on, come. There we go. You can see. Now, I've got the adhesive all on it. And now this is the kick in the butt because sometimes you pull it out and it pulls the plug out. Sometimes it stays in. It's just a question of whether it'll do it. And eh, took a couple of tries. And now I'm going to coat it. Let it sit. That is the worst part about it. Like I said, sometimes, let me get where you can see it. Sometimes it's just a pain in the butt. But we're good now. That's going to sit. I'm going to let it sit and cure for a minute or two. I'm going to inflate the tire. I'm going to check to make sure it's not leaking, and it may leak. Uh, and if that's the case, I've got a little thicker plug, and we'll put it in. And then we're going to trim this off with a razor. A lot of people leave it on, but as it rotates and goes over the ground, uh, it can actually pull itself loose. So you kind of want to trim it down close to the tire. More to come.